Okay, welcome to a biology specified practical where we'll be looking at an examination of animal and plant cells using a light microscope and producing labeled scientific diagrams from these observations. Now the first one we're going to start off with is an animal cell and we're going to be looking at cheek cells. These are a typical animal cell. They're a cell membrane, a cytoplasm and a nucleus. The onion cells we'll look at later are plant cells and they have a cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus and a vacuole. Okay, now the practical requires you to prepare cheek cell slides and onion cell slides and these slides can then be observed underneath the microscope. Now then, to prepare your slide, you begin with placing a drop of methylene blue onto your slide. I'm just going to do that on a tile. Okay, then you need to gently rub the inside of your cheek with a cotton bud. So I've got one wrapped in foil here. Let's go ahead and wrap it. So I'm going to wrap, uh, rub that gently now in the inside of my cheek to pick up some cheek cells. Now, once I've done that, I will wipe the end of this cotton bud in my drop of methylene blue. And then when I'm finished with this, I simply place this cotton bud into a beaker of disinfectant. Now, the next bit is where we'll place the mount needle uh, and the cover slip using the mount needle over the uh, sample of cheek cells. So I just need to carefully get a cover slip. I should have got one ready, it's a lot quicker. There we go. Okay, being careful of course not to um, get my fingerprints all over it by touching the edges. Now, if I just lower it on one end and then use the mounted needle to allow me to gently lower it over my sample, like so. And my slide is now prepared for viewing of the cheek cells. Okay, so I'm now going to prepare my plant cell, onion cell slide. Okay, so I've got a freshly cut piece of onion and what I'm going to do then is using some forceps I'm going to peel a thin layer of the epidermis from the inside of this freshly cut onion. So let's find the epidermis. There we are. Just lay that onto the slide. It's quite a big piece I have here, so it's curling up a bit. But that should be. Now, I need to add a drop of iodine to the onion epidermis on the glass slide. And now, using a mounted needle again, I'm going to carefully add the cover slip, nice and slowly to avoid any air bubbles. And now my um, plant cell, onion cell slide is also ready for viewing underneath the microscope. Okay, now I have my animal cell slide, which is my cheek cells, and my plant cell slide, which is some onion cells. I'm now going to view them under the microscope and hopefully identify some cell structures. If I start with the animal cell slide, uh, place it onto the mountain table of the microscope, and we're going to start with the times 10 objective lens so that we can locate the cells. And if you lower the lens as far as you go to make sure it doesn't crack through the slide and then work your way backwards, that will avoid you breaking the slide. Perfect. So I found the cheek cells. So I'm just going to position it so that one of the cells is in the center. And now I'm going to change it to the times 40 objective lens. And if 
hopefully this will allow me to identify some cell structures now. With the animal cell, of course, I'm looking for the cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. Okay, now I will turn to my plant cells, the onion cell slide. So again, I start off with the times 10 objective lens. First of all, to locate the position of the cells. There we go. And now, to, in order for me to see the cell structures, I'll switch to the times 40 objective lens. There we are. And now I can identify cell structures. Again, the cell membrane, cytoplasm, and nucleus. But in addition, this time we're looking for the cell wall um, in the plant cell. Here is my microscope drawing, a scientific label drawing of the onion cell that I viewed in the micro light microscope. And you can see I've identified and labeled the cell features that I could see. So you've got the nucleus, the cell wall, cell membrane, and the cytoplasm. And the total magnification uh, was times 400. Now to work out the total magnification, all I do is times the magnification of the objective lens, which in this case was times 40, times that by the um, the lens in the eyepiece, which is times 10. And of course, 40 times 10 gives me a total magnification of times 400. So the image that I saw under the microscope was 400 times bigger than the actual cell size.